Welcome to Zilla Cabs. Recently we spent a few days with Nolly recording a load of speakers. We used a track written to illustrate different aspects of heavy playing and the importance of hearing them in a band mix. In this series you'll find out what we discovered. The Creamback M speaker. This is a really interesting one. I think it's not a fizzy sounding speaker, but it does have a little bit of that kind of high focus in that kind of like 2K area, 2 to 3K area that, that you get in the extreme with a T75. It's got like a little bit of that in there. And I find it a little bit fatiguing to listen to. It's, it's like there's an artifact that I can recognize in the sound rather yeah. than hearing the guitars, I hear that, you know, quite pronounced. It's definitely tighter in the lows than, than the greenback was. It's a speaker that I've always found to be relatively tight mm -hmm. for that stuff. I remember when we were doing lots of stuff for people playing seven and eight strings and it mm -hmm. did surprisingly well yep. for those that wanted something that was going to stay pretty tight but be different to a vintage 30. But yeah, I really liked it. I thought it sounded great for this, this stuff. I probably did prefer the H greenback because um, it just sounded so good in this setting. Yeah. I remember in the past generally preferring the H, and I think the same is true here. I, I want to like the M, it is a bit darker than the H, and I like that about it. We use it for rockier plays, for, for all sorts of stuff. For jazz players love it. And I think it just, it's one of those speakers that seems to respond well to loads of different cabs, loads of different cab sizes. Mm. I kind of have a soft spot for it because I really like the greenback in the Fat Boy, and it's a higher powered version of that, and the, any compromises you get there, I'm willing to have right. for that high power if I want to use a 100 watt head. If you do want to have something that's greenbacky to complement, say, a V30, and the, the H maybe is too close to a V30, yeah, like yeah. it doesn't quite have enough of the, the kind of classic greenback character, yeah. then this is a, is, a good, is a good way to go. Yeah. Um, just maybe in the mix, you're going to need to do a little bit more sculpting on it to get it to, to be like really kind of pleasant to listen to. The classic rock guys, as it goes, love it mixed with a H greenback. Interesting, yeah. yeah. And we've mixed it with V30s before. There's a slight drop in in volume, but it's not really that big a deal. But it is a speaker that mixes really well too. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, I like it. There's something about it that I like. Yeah. yeah. 